Nvidia stock is back. As soon as it stopped going down, it started to go back up because there's a buying frenzy out there, a $400 billion frenzy as Nvidia and crypto boom and Goldman Sachs sees a wall of money fueling the summer party for stocks. Notably in early July, whoop, I think we talked about that. Major inflows are going in, yeah. Everyone wants to get into the stock market game. If we look at big caps, well, these stocks are crushing it. Minimum 20% so far this year. And for NVIDIA, if there is an AI bubble forming, well, we have to look to the numbers. On a trailing 12-month basis, NVIDIA has more than tripled its revenue and it has more than doubled its operating margin. Whoa, the stock is doing increasingly good. Maybe it is 1995 and it's time to go burr, burr, burr. What, what does that mean? It means go up. Maybe even mega big up. Since 1928, the first 15 days of July have been the best two-week trading period for equities for the whole year. If you look at valuations, well, uh, they're not really uh, going back to 2000. So I'm not sure I really buy that argument. Going back to NVIDIA, the stock is trading at 47 times forward PE today. Cisco in the 2000s was trading at four times higher or, sorry, yeah, four times higher at 200, basically. There are some skeptics out there. They're saying that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But hey, they're being left in the dust. And red hot AI funding is given 45% of new unicorns in artificial intelligence. It looks like we're booming, baby. It looks like we're booming. Gen AI's impact is going to give us an 8% ADP, sorry, 8% worldwide IT spend in 2024. NVIDIA also has massive growth ahead of it. Its data center revenue is supposed to go much, much higher. Look at that number right there. That's 10 trillion. Whoa, it's going to triple from here? Well, it could. Lots of things can happen. It's definitely possible. And there's been a rise in AI chatbots, but the applications are now getting wider. Uh, stock market concern concentration. Well, people are concerned. So what does that mean? Burr, we can probably keep going higher. Why? Because people are worried. And understandably so. One in three people think that the market's going to going to go down by 5%. One in three think we're going to go up by 5%. And one in three think we're going to go sideways. What does that mean? It means there's indecision. And there might even be a little bit of fear. The market actually ticked back down, back, back down into fear today. I can think of a reason why I don't want to talk about it. It relates to one of the old farts who talked uh, last week. But now if we go to the S&P and to the NASDAQ, what do we have? New record high, new record close. That's for the S&P 500. If we look to the NASDAQ, basically the same thing, record close and record high. So far in the month, uh, NVIDIA, in sorry, QQQ, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. In uh, three days, we're up by 2.5%. The, uh, the S&P is up by 1.3% so far this month. It's a boom, baby. It's a boom. And if you remember, specifically, what we talked about was that I thought we would form a monthly higher high because we closed at or near the high of the candle. And now that we're over last month's high, all we have to do is watch as to whether or not we're above 550. If we're over 550, we remain above resistance. If we fall back below 550, it means that we have a failed breakout. And remember, we had a failed breakout over here. They're not good. We don't want to see a failed breakout. We also had one happen here as well. But to keep it simple, for the rest of the month, if we're over 551, we're bullish. But that article also told us that starting on July 18th is when stocks go down. So what I really want to do today is to walk you through a little bit more about that story. Here we are right here. So it's again, history is a guide. It's not a guarantee, but hey, it's worked out pretty good so far. So if we start to fade on July 17th, that's what we're looking for. It's that simple. But let me show you a little bit of evidence here because the S&P is actually in a month and a weekly higher high over that previous candle high. But the more important chart is actually NVIDIA. So if you remember, we've been talking about a hollow candle, and there's only actually one more trading day in the rest of the week. We closed early today, and uh, we're closed tomorrow. So when we come back on Friday, that's going to determine if we have a hollow candle or not. If NVIDIA closes green on Friday on a daily basis, we're going to get it. It's a matter of how hollow. And also note here that we have a higher high. So we actually broke last week's high by about 16 cents. So what does that mean? Man, the stocks are, uh, sorry, the bulls are pretty strong here. They're like, screw it. Stop going down. Time to rush in. It's a stampede, right? Like the Calgary stampede that starts soon here. It's not. That's not the only thing that's moving today, though. Crypto is down. I think the news might be specific to crypto, but we do see a bid coming into things like 
uh, gold, copper, oil, uh, mega caps, almost everything. Emerging markets are catching a bit too. Like it looks like a bull market out there. It looks like everything's a buy. ARC is up. Uh, what's this? Brazil's up. We got uh, Mexico up. RSPT is up. NVIDIA is up. Man, this is getting pretty bullish. If we continue the story here, it pretty much means we're going burr. If you guys don't mind, please considering to smash a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you ahead of time. So if now we understand that the market appears like it's bullish, and on July 1st, to kick off the month, Amazon's doing a $100 billion investment in data centers. Yes, Jeff Bezos is selling stock, but the company's going to be out there going burr. So a lot of other companies are going to benefit from this. If you look to the heat map today too, it's not just NVIDIA moving. It's NVIDIA and the chip complex along with AVGO. But look at Tesla over here. Oh my God, what's going on? If it's really an AI bubble and an AI boom, um, sorry, versus an AI uh, boom or bust, well, Tesla's kind of showing us that it appears like people are still willing to bid up stocks. It's up by 40% in the last month. If you remember, I said this was one of my favorite stocks into the second half of the year. And tomorrow at 9.15 a.m., which is our regular scheduled show, I'm going to go through and talk about my favorite uh, top pick for the second half of the year. So if you want to come hang out with me, that would just be great. The next thing I want to show here was, let's actually skip this. I think we already talked about this. Um, if we look at the data that we're going to have for the rest of the week, please remember, we got the FOMC meeting minutes. I'll go through those in a moment because um, it came after the market closed. But if we just look here to the effect, we're down by 28 cents after hours. So, right, doesn't even matter, right? The market uh, gave back 28 cents out of a $2.45 move, basically 10% of the move. Tomorrow's a holiday. And then on Friday, I do expect this to be a bullish reaction. Again, nothing in life is a guarantee, but hey, I like what I see here on the screen. The market did fall back into fear, like I mentioned. So now let's go through these Fed headlines here. Fed minutes, vast majority of participants at the, uh, at the June meeting assessed you by economic growth appear to be gradually cooling. That's good. It means we're getting closer to cutting. Participants saw modest further progress towards committee's 2% inflation goal. And with PCE coming in light, that's also good. A number of participants said the policy should stand ready to respond to unexpected economic weakness. What does that mean? It means cutting. And then here we also see that the May CPI reading was seen as by participants as providing additional evidence. So the June number is going to be even better. We talked about that on previous videos. Several uh, specifically emphasized further demand weakening could generate larger unemployment uh, response than, uh, than in recent past, which means they're pretty much getting ready to cut. They're priming the pump, right? Uh, it's an old saying, they're priming the pump. And eventually when they cut, people are going to be a little bit less surprised. So if we keep the story really simple, right now the S&P is going up. If we keep going up, I know people get uncomfortable when we do that. But if we go here to the S&P, we look really strong. On the weekly, we look good. On the monthly, we look good. I talked about that key 551 number for the NASDAQ. And then we'll come back to NVIDIA in a moment because it's really an NVIDIA market, right? Let's be honest. We're all participants. Uh, NVIDIA is in the driver's seat. So QQQ, pretty much same thing. Over that previous candle high, bullish. If we fall back below it, we're back below 488. That's where we start to get that failed breakout. If we look to a few other names like uh, RSP in the monthly, well, this one here is uh, got to get it up. It's still red in the month. We still have to see this one rally above 165, roughly 1% more. I'm not feeling as confident without this, but hey, the market can remain irrational longer than I can remain solvent, which is why I'm not fighting it. The trend is your friend. Look here on the monthly. NVIDIA is up by 4% at the high of the candle with an inside bar after closing over the previous high. What does that mean? It's bullish. It's a matter of how bullish. On the daily, we didn't even fill the first gap, right? WTF, right? They're like, oh my God, it came down to 119. Buy it, buy, buy, buy. 118, buy more. And then the volume's been dropping off. That is normal into the summer, but this notable break is what I'm watching for here. And then again, like I said, watch for the candle closing a Friday. If it's hollow, excelente. That's two in a row. If we don't close with a hollow candle, that is where we're going to have to assess what's happening here. So with that said, maybe you want to subscribe to the channel and come hang out with me at 9.15 a.m. tomorrow. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next video.